Hello YouTube, just want to do another unboxing and review of the statue for you guys today. I didn't see in anyone in YouTube actually doing a review for this statue, therefore I think I'm kind of obligated to do one for you today. Uh, as you can see in the title of this video, uh, the review will be on a 1 over 3.5 scale custom Psylocke statue. Now, I can't disclose the person or group made this statue, but all I can say is that they were the ones that actually did the custom Frank Felicino X-Force Wolverine statue, which was dope as heck, and I'm still trying to get a my hands on one. Um, so just a little bit backstory on this custom statue. I initially found out about the statue on one of the YouTube videos by Unbox Bros. If you haven't subscribed to that channel, you should. They usually do upcoming news on new custom statues in the works. Um, the guy who does his uh, the guy who actually does these videos, uh, his name is Carl. So, um, I, anyways, I actually contacted Carl directly last year from Facebook and asked him, does he know where I can get a pre-order? He stated that all the pre-orders were sold out uh, at that time, but he could help me get in contact with the commissioner responsible for this statue. I told the commissioner I really would like to get in to the pre-order, but he stated that um, it was full at the moment. He told me that if there was an open slot, he would let me know. And this was back at maybe November 2021. So I was kind of stuck in limbo, just waiting for someone to actually give up their order. So maybe about three months, someone decided to give up their pre-order because that person needed money to start the business, which was great for me. Um, I ended up uh, paying that person closely to $1,400 to take over their pre-orders. Um, so anyways, uh, today, uh, as you can see on that box, uh, today is December uh, 10th, 2022. Uh, I received this uh, statue maybe two days prior to that. Um, as you can see, the statue is very well packaged. It's very compact. Um, it feels like this type of packaging is the same quality as the ones that you get from Sideshow itself. Um, the box itself total weighs about 44 pounds. Uh, it's pretty heavy, but it's pretty compact. Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to do a quick unboxing right now. Oh yeah, and um, shipping was about 350 on this. So not a very big box, but a pretty heavy box. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and unbox it. Um, hopefully there's a art box in there. Uh, I'm not sure if there is, but we'll take a look and see what's inside. So I have removed the actual uh, styrofoam um, shipper. There's actually a top layer there. There's actually two, two parts to it. This was on top. Of that uh, so you can see there's a base over here I think most of the base are here I think the arms are over here um, I don't see anything else um, I don't know what those are so I'll probably have to take them out and take a look what's in there but uh, we'll check it out As you can see the ribbon the hands the arms bodies right there and I don't know what those are other are but we'll find out anyway let's uh let's box it all right guys after 20 to 30 minutes of unpackaging uh, this is everything you get from the statue um, 
quite assembly. So you got your base over there specifically. I don't have any idea how to assemble that, so I'm probably gonna have to fiddle around with it. Uh, got the Psylock katanas, the dual katanas. They had the white katanas as well. I think it's for X-Force. I didn't really care too much about that one. Uh, it looks kind of robotically for me, and you know, I, I kind of like these traditional katanas. And uh, these katanas, they could actually adjust how you want it. Um, the only problem I see with that is uh, there may be a stability issues in the future, depending on how you actually display the katanas up or down. Uh, what I mean about it is that uh, is the is the katana going to go in downward slope where it might fall, uh, or you could probably go up uh, on top where the blades are pointing up in the sky where it's not going to fall because the katanas are going to be holding on like this, right? But if you have it in the opposite direction, I could see it falling. Uh, anyway, uh, these katanas, uh, they're made out of real metal. They're made out of real metal. So, pretty nice. Um, I will say the base is really, really heavy. I think the sucker weighs about 25 pounds. I think the majority of the statue is weighing on the base. Uh, these blades here, they're axe. I think they're, they feel like they're metal, but I could be wrong. I know this one's plastic. This one's definitely plastic. But this one feels like it's actual metal. But then again, uh, it might not be metal. Uh, you can see here, they got her stash over here. It's actually really, really nicely detailed. They got a lot of shading going on. So it comes in two over here. Uh, the portraits are excellent. They can actually give you four portraits. The only one I like is the neutral look. Looks like a Korean pop sing girl uh, or a Japanese pop sing girl. Looks really nice. Uh, and I like the smirking one. Smirking one looks pretty good. Uh, you could tell here uh, they did a wonderful uh, packaging. Um, none of the hair strands got damaged, so kudos to the factory for making it well packaged. And then finally we'll come to the arms. I did get one boo-boo here. Uh, I don't think it's actually a breakage, but I think how they assemble it together, I think they probably glued it together. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like to me the, the, the side power for the translucent is all glued together. Uh, I didn't see any uh, real uh, breakage on this. I think they just didn't glue this pretty well. Uh, I didn't see any real uh, clean bricks on it. It just looks like the glue, just uh, the adhesive just gave out. But I'll probably contact the commissioner about this, see if I could get a replacement from the factory. And then we have the actual side blade, which kind of looks awesome. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there's one thing I don't like about translucent. Um, it's because uh, over time, it may change colors in the future. So yeah. I wish these were painted instead of having that translucency. It probably would have been uh, much better in the future. That's why I kind of like the sigil one with the psionic uh, powers. Uh, that one is kind of painted rather than having translucency. Anyway, uh, four minutes of my rambling about this. Um, so yeah, next step is probably assembling it. And we'll do it right now. Okay, there she is, guys. All fully assembled. Uh, I could say I'm very happy with the end product. Um, I 
it looks pretty amazing. I mean, the details on the face is pretty good. Uh, I think the paint job is equal to what Saicho had with their Psylocke. Uh, they did a pretty good job on the statue. Everything pretty much came to what was shown as the prototype. However, like all statues, uh, there isn't a statue out there that is perfect. Uh, some of the Nick gripes for me specifically is the engineering, uh, as you may probably see it, uh, like right over here. That the peg right there, I mean, it's it's very obvious. It's like it doesn't go all the key all the way into this part here which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the climate. Uh, usually if temperatures are, um, temperatures are high, uh, materials usually expand, or if it's too cold, it contracts. I don't know if it's because of those reasons or it was just as the sign it was to be. But from a engineering standpoint, I don't like it. Uh, one of the other things I don't like about this statue is this peg here. Like, you look at that, that's like only uh, halfway in. So my, my concern is how will this uh, statue hold up in the later in the future for stability issues. Now, the commissioner was kind enough to give us one of these support beams, or support rods, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know how to use this, actually. I think I'm supposed to, uh, you know, take the part here and move it up. And then it'll, uh, you know, hold the body. I, I, I don't even know where this is supposed to be supporting. Is it support, supposed to be supporting in the body? I mean, it'd be great if someone out there could tell me where exactly am I supposed to put this at. I mean, from where I see it, there's really nowhere to put without A, scratching the paint, and two, I don't know if this rod's gonna support this whole thing. Like, I mean, where, where, what is this? Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Anyway, it was, anyway, it was, it's a, it's a nice, nice thing uh, that the commissioner gave us to us. I think uh, this was implemented because of the archangel that they did for the custom. Uh, I think uh, the buyers were kind of worried about leaning issues in the future, so. They included one of these, which is nice. I think it's made out of steel, so pretty good. Anyway, um, as regarding to this part here, I have no idea where this is supposed to go to. I mean, I looked for like 30 minutes and I'm, I don't know where this is. I'll probably have to go back to the, one of the sites or the group to take a look where this part goes to because right now, I have no idea where this is going to. Overall, uh, the portrait is very nice. Uh, everything fit pretty nicely. Uh, I don't know about this. This, I don't recommend anyone carrying this statue like this across any place. Like, if you're gonna move this statue, you're gonna have to take a, uh, a part uh, on each part of the statue. Because this base here, I think this thing weighs at least 35 pounds. And then on top of that, uh, the body and everything, um, I think that's gonna be like 44 pounds. And because these ribbons here, they're not magnetic. They're only hold on by gravity and a pin, like a small uh, steel, I wanna say aluminum pin or maybe steel pin. Uh, but if there's any type of force into these, I could see uh, a bad time. Like, these will fall off. So just be careful. Um, 
If you do decide to get the statue, I'm not going to tell you how to get it, but if you do get it in eBay, hint, hint, they're selling one on eBay for lots of money. Um, just watch out for this. This looks like it's going to fall off pretty easily. Um, so yeah, the portrait looks amazing. Uh, this comes in four different portraits. I only like the smirking one and the neutral one. So you can see right here, since I took out the... It's pretty nice. And then here we go, we got the translucent ones over here. They're also very nice. Um, I don't think I'm going to use this. Uh, mainly because, well, I will use it, but it'll be probably when I get bored and I want to switch out the statue. Uh, e uh, each of these parts can go individually different, so yeah, I mean, this is a great looking statue, it's very dynamic, I think it's kind of the best Psylocke statue in the market right now, uh, official and non-official, I think, um, I want to say this kind of beats out the XM one. Uh, mainly because uh, it took a lot of risk for this statue so I think overall I'm very happy that I got this statue although um, the prototype one was looking a lot better mainly because I think the professional uh, actually went ahead and uh, painted that and uh, the only thing I have a gripe about the portrait is the eyes I wish they put a little bit gloss on there so make it more look like it's real life. That would have been nice. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out the portrait here. So just Okay, it's down. Oh be careful, uh, there's strands here. Try not to The magnets are pretty strong here, so that's the one right here. I hate doing this when I'm... Ooh, this one's a little bit loose. Okay, no, it's, it's fine. Yeah, this one looks good too, so... Overall, uh, I give this statue from 5 star, uh, probably 4 four and a half out of five stars um, on the stuff that I mentioned earlier that I didn't like but overall um, the statue is done really well the base is done pretty well except for this part here I think uh, they were trying to copy what the Sideshow Road maquette had for the Danger Room base but then again uh, this base kind of doesn't make any sense like why would she do a scissor kick on the actual stuff here so I think concept wise it's kind of weird it doesn't make any sense but for aesthetic uh, looking it looks great so yeah I'll give you guys a round shot of it it looks really nice the booty shot here oh wow uh, you can see in the in the ribbon the back's done pretty nice Hair's done pretty nice. So overall, pretty good. Anyway, um, I think I'll end this video here. I'm gonna post it out anyway, so people can actually see. If you guys uh, wanna see a comparison video between the Sideshow and XM1, I could probably do that for you guys. Uh, in fact, uh, I'll probably do another follow video for comparison sake, but uh, yeah, I'm 100% happy. Uh, like I said, the only thing I had a boo-boo on the package. Package was also good, uh, done on that. Uh, I, I would say it's four and a half stars. The only why I give a half a star is mainly because I think this part here just came unglued, or maybe it got broke. But like I said, I'll probably talk with the commissioner, see if I could actually get a replacement. But yeah, overall, 
This is a great looking statue with a great portrait and action dynamic. Anyway, um, take care and uh, keep collecting guys. Bye.